Radio. y'all what a dilemma here we go again we're out here at the creek duck hunt and it's not without his trials like he was already down here once and uh forgot my ammo which meant i had to go all the way back home could have been worse i could have walked all the way to the blind now, again i don't apologize for the wind but uh so i went back home grabbed a box of ammo get down here get all set up at my truck the dilemmas don't end there I grabbed a box with only eight rounds in it. Sorry, nine rounds. So, needless to say, we're traveling light. And we got nine shots. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna set up right down here. This way, if we, when we do hit them, if they go to the other bank, it's not that far of a walk to go pick them up. But I wanna go up here by this corner first to see if there's anything up here. I don't doubt the wind is really going to screw with our audio. I don't see anything down there. That's alright, we're going to go set up back here. So again, I am not wearing camo. I've got a pocket full of shells. We're going to sit in this weed patch here. Good thing about coming out now is they should be starting to fly within the next 20 30 minutes. Whereas before we were sitting here for hours and nothing came by. But hopefully tonight's a little better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit right about here. Now I've got probably 30 feet from me to that bush row right there. And if I stay still, they're not going to see me until they're on me because they are moving. Unlike the other night, we ain't worrying about no geese. I can't believe this big dummy fell for that. But I did. You can put all the decoys out there you want. They are not going to stop. They're not even going to slow down. There goes Charlie. Checking to see if I'm still here. I'm still here, buddy. I'm still here. Hope you didn't go down there and warn the rest of the wood ducks that I'm here. I say that like he's a wood duck. Regardless, I still think they're all friends. They all talk. He probably went down there and said, hey, Johnson's down around the corner. One of them piped up and said, yeah, that's all right. He can't hit nothing anyway, so we're good. Anytime now, fellas, anytime. Here we go. He's still flying. And before I had that camera turned on, four went by and I thought, I missed him. That lone straggler coming up the back there. He's okay. That group came right up the middle. Before y'all get carried away in the comments, I don't claim to be the best shot in the world. But I ain't sitting on the couch. See, I didn't see any of them come look at the ball. I'm not sure where they came from, but I didn't see them till they were on top. There was some more over there. Too far, way too far. We were down to about 20 minutes of shoot time. Here we go. And there they go. 
All right, I think I'm dialed in now. I give him, I give him three warning shots. I'm dialed in now. The next group that comes by better be aware. They better be on their toes. There we go. Jesus. What is going on here? <laughs> At this rate, I'm going to run out of ammo. Those two come right up the pipe. There's no excuse. Okay, I'm dialed in now. I'm dialed in. I know, I said that last time. There's a whole flock of ducks right there heading the other way. Not sure if you can see them. Right over there. And I'm going to guarantee while I'm looking at them, about six just went by. That's just, you know, that's how it goes. You know, most guys at this point would say, you know, I can't believe I got skunked. I can't believe I didn't get nothing. I completely believe I didn't get nothing. But we're getting dialed in. Well, guys, I think I'm going to leave this here. Uh, it would appear that uh, today the ducks are smarter than a hunter. Hey, guys, I know it's dark. This is a uh, classic case of getting caught with your pants down. Uh, I was back there by that tree. Hopefully you can see it there. Uh, going to the bathroom Up out of the corn come up the hill about 30 yards from me was a coyote Then I watched me now. He's behind me on top of the berm uh, yeah, I can barely see him so I know you can't That's why I never walk to or from the blind without being loaded All right, well, after being outsmarted by the ducks last night, we are back again tonight. It's probably around, I guess it's pushing about 6.30. A little bit of a late start, but not a big deal. Uh, I brought a secret weapon with me tonight, but also you can see I got camo on tonight. Is that going to make a difference? <laughs> probably not. We're going to see if sparkles are the trick. Sparkles, sparkles might be the magic. We're about to find out, so let's get down there. And it's windy, I'll give you a heads up. It is very, very windy. And it's really going to booger up the audio on this, but we're going to do our best. So let's head down and sit and wait. If if sparkles are the trick and he shoots a duck, you owe me 20 bucks. They owe you $20? No, no, you. You owe me 20 bucks. I owe 20 bucks. The story of my life. All right, guys, we are down the creek. Same spot as last night. Uh, I got uh, sparkles with me here. This works. Sparkles is going to be the ticket. I'm going to market that stuff, I'm telling you. Anyway, we'll see how long she lasts. It's windy and the wind is, uh, like I said, it's going to be rough and sound. But it is what it is. We're going to hang tight. Hopefully get a couple of ducks before the rain comes. Are you cold? Nah. That's all right. They're trying to fight the wind up there. No, they're way too high, babe. Way too high. Uh, they're trying to fight the wind. Way up high up there. Way up high. See that? There's about five geese flying. I, I know. They just went onto the dark part of the cloud up there. Five of them way up high. We should go shoot over there. <laughs> yeah, we're already here, babe. What? We're already here. We're fine. Alrighty, if you say so. It's a matter of me trying to get my eagle eye on them. My uh, hunting partner just decided it was a little too cold. She's heading back to the truck. Can't believe the ducks did not flare on that sequence on her hat there and her bright pink gloves and bright red jet. 
you never know. You never know. Maybe Camel is one of the biggest scams going. Who knows? I am convinced more than ever that the geese are in cahoots with the ducks. And they're getting me to look everywhere but which way they're coming. That's how they roll here in Ontario, I'm telling you. All right, guys, here we go. We got one coming right up the middle here. Well, he's still going. An easier shot than that. I saw him duck down right in front of my truck, which is way down there. And I saw him a single down there by himself. And I sat here and waited on him. And I still missed. I'm gonna have to take up badminton. All right, guys, I think that's gonna do it for this video. I know you're all gonna massacre me in the comments. You need to work on your shot. I know, but like I said, I'm not sitting on the couch. I'm out here having a good time. You still need to work on your shot. I know, I know, we'll get to it. It's all in good fun. Thank you all for joining us. Hit that subscribe button while you're here. We appreciate it. And as always, get outside and enjoy the outdoors. Later. Chasing stars and holding you. I can't see the end, but we'll see it through.